This is my kilaun, my inupiak drum. Traditionally, this would be made out of the intestine of a large whale or the stomach lining of a walrus, seal, or whale. The frame is made out of driftwood, bent driftwood. This is my stick for drumming. We drum underneath, and for the first verse, you tap. Now the second verse, when you're starting to dance harder, the stick bends and it goes harder and makes a louder sound. Adiga. Unakhoni chaoyak, chaoyaugok. This right here is a yupik drum, drum from the top. Our drums are used for our music and it's the only musical instrument that the Yupik people use. Like the Inupiaq drum, this is Sikonite, airplane fabric, also used for its durability and strength. Traditionally, we use seal skin or the stomach lining of a seal, the stomach lining of a walrus or a whale. In my area, there are no trees. Our rim is made from driftwood, steamed and bent. And this is what the Chao Yak sounds like. These are Ili Ili. They're basically smooth, water worn pebbles that you can find either at the river or where the river meets the ocean. And just like with anything that we use from our environment, from nature. You have to be very conscientious about how you get things and being respectful and not just using things um, irresponsibly. So when you are looking for the ili ili that you are going to use as a dancer, as an instrument to accompany what you're doing, you have to make sure that the right pebbles, the ili ili, come to you and that they would just be perfect for your hand, a perfect fit, because we don't shape them in any way. If you're meant to use those, they'll find you. So as you're gathering up your ili ili, you want to make sure that one of them fits in this little space between your fingers, and the other one between your pointer finger and your thumb. Just rest them kind of gently in your hands, like this and then you open and close to make that clear clicking sound. And this is a musical instrument that's used by, again, the dancer as she is dancing to help provide yourself with a rhythm and to kind of help tell the story, create a, a musical story as well. So these are the ili ili, the pebbles. This is an ipu. This is a gourd drum from the islands of Hawaii. And it's very simply made. You hollow out the inside after cutting off the top so all of the seeds and all of that pulpy stuff comes out. And you have a nice clean inside here. And the ipu has a wonderful loud voice. And it's used not only by the dancer but by chanters and accompanists as well. So if you can imagine a hula performance, you might see chanters playing this drum on the side, sitting the way I am, playing it on the ground, using this hard surface to get a nice loud sound, but also using their hands to get a sound. You might also see the dancers using them as well. So this is a rather versatile drum, despite its, its simple design. It's got a wonderful loud sound and can be used in a number of ways and you can move very easily with the drum while you're playing. So you can do something like... And this is the ipu, the Hawaiian gourd drum. <laughs> 